Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. We're back at it again with the Black and White 2 live decks. Last episode, we got Golduck. This episode, I'm just gonna keep going forward. Do what I gotta do there. Use one of our few hyper potions. Yeah. Not be too bad. Oh yeah, here's the third. There's, there's Terrakion. Oh. Oh, Colrez is here. Interesting. Is Colrez a separate thing in here? The pair of I'm talking about. I don't know why there's Oh, I thought he was gonna battle us. <laughs> Colrez machine. Where do my time to energize these Pokemon? I'm working on battling Pokemon. Played me something. Is Corus actually an independent researcher? Huh. That's uh that's interesting. I don't remember this this did I genuinely don't remember Corus being like much in this game. Imperfect perfect say it. This this Oh, oh, what? Well, that's really good. I don't know what the point of doing that would be. Man, there's the third of the three legendary dogs just kind of chilling, waiting for us. Very weird how they just abruptly show up here. Um, not fuck it. I think we give the experience to Mr. Ruben. Get him some levels in. Sure. Yeah. Because Dave is, I mean, Dave is like hella over leveled, so he's really only got to use for a while. And we did just get a rare candy, but we'll probably get an encounter on our way out here. Or not. Wow. I'm genuinely shocked how low the encounter rate is out here. I think I remember there being something where if your Pokemon are like absurdly over leveled, maybe the encounters are slowed down in Wild Grass and stuff. Uh. Which would make some level of sense, because, I mean, Dave is incredibly overleveled. Still, very interesting. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, I think I was talking last episode. I'm thinking of making after the, uh... Oh, wow, this is annoying. This thing is completely walls, Dave. And most of our mods. Jake can handle it. Um... Anyway, after I finish the live decks, I'm thinking of making another series where I then work on making every uh, Pokemon, like getting an actual set or some level of competitive viability. <laughs> but uh, I don't know how long that would take, or if that's something I'd be super, super interested in. But I might, I might go do that. But that's that's like a couple months from now, or whatever. At least if I keep playing at the rate I've been playing. Ooh, I think Air Slash is the movie we've been waiting on, right? 75 accuracy, can flinch. Rest in peace, air cutter. Hopefully, there's not many triple battles left because that is where it is extremely useful. But air slash is just outright better to have as a special attacker. Actually, shocked to get out of that for free. Okay, so there's something if I surf, I can get an item there, but let's not worry about that for now. I like this is gonna be another Amoongus. <laughs> uh, let's go heal up again though. We have our fresh water, because I know we have a few of those now. Fresh waters, let's eat one of them. Take. You know, the water type needs water, not, not potions. Actually, there's a chance this is a Moongus, and for that, Strobin can solo it, even if it's a bit over level. Okay, it's not. Oh, that's. Put Mac, uh, sorry, Dave back up front. Because Dave, Dave can just solo everything at the moment. He's incredibly overleveled. I can understand you're supposed to have something around level 50 at this point, because, you know, they have, uh, what should we call it? Because the enemy, the last gym leader, had like level 50 mons, but still. It is absurd just how overleveled Dave became in that one short span of time. He literally gained like 8 levels while one shotting everything. 
Okay. One of these has to be an Amoongus, right? No way these are both real. Okay, yeah. I should have swapped out. Whoops. Oh, whatever. Yeah, there's the cave entrance you guys can see. Uh, and that's that's where we get ourselves that one item. Let me paralyze this Amoongus just to help out faster of them. He's realistically the one that can easily take it. Um, Giga Drain's just annoying more than anything. Yeah. Yeah, I should have had him leave the party. Would have been able to deal with it much easier that way. Whatever. Jesus. I don't know. Guess we are like a bit under level in comparison to Mungus. Flinch, but it decides not to. Very nice. Okay, so I hit one more air slash, and then I hit it with fly, and then I get hit with the specs for it because it's just annoying. Or we just get another flinch, and then I air, air slash it to death. That works too. Very nice. Alright, there's still another trainer in front of us, so I'll go battle him. Just to get that out of the way. Out of the way, because I'm looking for danger. Are you dangerous? That's a very weird <laughs> question to ask someone. Also, very weird philosoph uh, philosophy for your travel. Okay, swine up walls are electric moves, but it's fine, because we still have a little bit of PP left on Flash Cannon. And that should do the job. It is a bit unfortunate that the ground types are completely immune to half of Dave's move, well, or three fourths of Dave's move set. Uh, but for the story mode, that doesn't matter. Obviously, when I make this thing like semi-competitive, I need to pick a move to get rid of it. It'll probably be Volt Switch, because I can't think of a lot of reasons that Dave would need Volt Switch in actual competitive. Because if I'm gonna be slower, like, like Magnezone's gonna be slower than most other Pokemon, and if I'm gonna be slower, uh, having a move that swaps me out after I take what's likely gonna be a four times effective ground move, it's just it just doesn't help me really. So it's it's not worth having later, but in the main game, it's very nice to have. Okay, I definitely need to get some like more super potions whenever I go back to the city. But for now, we're chilling. Using some nice healing items out here. Yeah, that, that is like where we get ice beam. Let's see what this item is. Shard. The hassle. Oh look, I can also get the item that uh, I'm seeing there. I don't think we have a mind food. Huh? Could catch this. I feel like discharge with one shot. I mean, that's Because I do want to weaken it. I don't want to deal with full odds. I mean, if it, if it doesn't one-shot, I'm paralyzing. It does. Maybe it's just a little too strong. <laughs> then good. Uh, anyway. Shaking grass. The Amoongus. And that is just... The, uh... What should we call it? Let me forget the name. You know. Yeah. Which, that's just free experience. Waiting for me. Even if it is hella under level in comparison to everything else, it is still free experience. And a lot of it. Some. I'm surprised they didn't kill, but whatever. We just sent in Strobin, we would have done the experience anyway. I do want to preserve the tiniest bit of PP. I'm able to, which I am right now. Yeah, Strobin's got a pretty nice moveset now. He's just got. Yeah, decent coverage overall. He's got both stab moves that he wants. Full, uh, you know, special move set. Uh, the only unfortunate part is that he has fly, which doesn't really benefit him much. But, you know, it's not that bad. But yeah. Trainer Luca with a 9. Which might actually be faster than us. But it still shouldn't one shot him. Maybe it does, but... Anyway, we have to Thunder Wave this thing, even if... Because it will definitely go first, the first time. Making sure it only does that once is pretty essential. And having the chance to paralysis, because I don't think we one-shot it. Level 47. 
Oh, that is high enough that realistically I can actually take a hit. Like that. And I was hoping for paralysis to actually activate, but unfortunately that's just not what we... Whatever though. The uh, other mon is most hopefully not a fire type. If it is, I can pretty well show. Exhydrill! Yeah, that's not very great for it. Because it was everything we have to manually swap out to Jake and hope he doesn't get like Earthquake or Rock Slide. I guess Rock Slide's not bad, but Earthquake would be pretty annoying. We're at that point in the game where it actually has real moves. That would just be faster and kill us. Okay. The Rock Slide kill? That's. It's kind of a threat. Um. Find out Max. I mean, he can Earthquake back. My Earthquake's gonna be super effective, but Exodrill's one. Or not Earthquake. He has Earthquake, I can't even use Dig. Because if you didn't know, Earthquake, for whatever reason, has the added benefit that when it's used against a Dig, it does double damage. I Meaning we couldn't have, if we used Dig here, we would have gotten one shot instead of taking only about most of our health. Very unfortunate. Anyway. Go, Exodrill down. That should be some decent experience for Max, I think. Yeah. I'm okay, I guess. Anyway. We also have up the- I thought I had out the item finder. I guess not. But yeah, I'm gonna go and quickly- I, I know I should probably go heal up first, but I'm gonna get Ice Beam first. Uh, or actually, I think what I can do... If I go down, I can go out of the cave and open it up from the other side. Yeah, see that Pokeball there on the left is, I believe, either Ice Beam or Toxic, because I remember watching something about that. <laughs> I thought I just had to battle these guys, but I know I got a wild encounter with the Kaferi. I don't want to bother with right now, to be honest with you. I also just realized I didn't heal, so I definitely don't want to bother with it. I'm use a Hyper Potion though. Hopefully we can get this, uh, like, whatever, that would be very interesting, but if not, this is gonna be just... I'll just wait until everyone arrives. Right. And we're at 21. We're, we're just allowed in here purely to... thing. Okay. That's cool, we just gotta get a glimpse at the item we want. <laughs> okay. Where is Red 21? Because I don't even know what they're referencing. It's Red 22. The Marine 2, which apparently goes out the side, even though it definitely goes up from the town. And Route 21 is just below the Millet. Okay. So then I went the wrong way. Oh, whatever. I guess now we've cleared out the trainers for later. Nice. It is a bit weird, though, that the legendary dogs are just kind of, like, out and about instead of, uh, you know, in their usual caves. Like, Cabellian and stuff are really cool, generally, because they're in, like, the back of some cave, and they're nice, you know, little hidden, I don't know, corner of the world makes them feel a lot more legendary, versus right now, they're, like, throwing themselves at me. Like, please capture me! Oh, <laughs> fuck off. Anyway, let's buy some, uh, potions. Man. We're still at the point where Super Potions are probably mostly cost effective. Get a bunch of options. I shouldn't need. Chilling. Alright. Let's get going. Off to Route 21, where apparently the rest of the adventure awaits us. A bit of water route. Fun times. Alright, well, I think we should probably clear out the trainers, especially while our electric type is extremely trouble that can get us free experience. Get Desiree with her whale lord in it. 46? I mean, that's, that should be some defense. I don't actually know how the get like how they calculate the experience you get from wild mons, because I remember getting like 500 experience from like level 20 Pokemon, but I've some of the wild level like 40 something Pokemon I kill also give like 500 experience. 
This make a lot of sense. I just don't really understand that. And then trainers just seem to get boosted experience, which is why I generally look battling. Oh, so we have some options here. I could go to the left or the right. The left looks a little bit more hidden. There's a trainer. I don't know if I consider that nice. Is here. <laughs> All right. Swimmer Herald. Oh, Swimmer Male Herald. I wanna make it very clear this is a guy. I don't know why that that's in his name. Hold switch should kill. I, I wanna use hold switch more to just use up the uh, less people. Do. We can stay out on this route longer. Because getting back down here is going to be annoying. Because there, there should be also wild Pokemon in this water. They were just not encountering it. Which is very nice. That's an item. There's been a lot of nice items in this late game. So I don't want to miss out on anything. In case there are even nicer items. Yeah, level 35 is going to be... I want to battle wild Pokemon, I'll battle the level like 45 ones up in the upper area we were just at. Big Pearl, that's fine. I guess there's more trainers up here. I might as well fight him. Like, right right now, like, Electra... Electazone? But that's just the wrong way to say that. That's not the... that's definitely not the right name. Uh... uh Magnazone. Where did I get Electo from? Because I'm thinking of Electro Ball still. To be fair, that move is sick. They have two Remoraids, so I have to discharge them. Yeah, Magnazone can, like, one-shot everything here and get us a bunch of experience. You see, that was 300 experience. I think some of the, the first trainers I fought have given more than 300 experience from killing one of their level 5 Pokemon. I, I don't understand how they calculate it. Very annoying. <laughs> I just want to get levels. I don't want one overleveled mon, at least for this run through. For the main run through of Black and White 2, I don't want to do. When I'm running through, like, because for example, like I said, for the Landorus forums, I have to run through all of Black and White 1, because there's no other way to get uh, the base forums in Generation 5. For something like that, I will have one overleveled Pokemon that does all the heavy lifting. Because I'm not playing that game to, uh, you know, for the sake of seeing everything there is to see. That's what I'm using this game for. And I'm gonna do all the fun post-game stuff, do all the little side quests and whatever. Anything I do in Black and White 1 is specifically to get one or two specific Pokemon. It's a lot less cool to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm absolutely shredding through this rare right now. Breathe little experience. 295, that's just pitiful. And they give us 700 Poké Dollars? Okay. Oh, the other guys are giving us, like, several hundred. Okay, so this is the guy that heals her stuff. And I guess we missed it on that guy? Maybe that guy was, like, a computer or something. Anyway, let's battle the Fisher before the Doctor. And then we have to probably go into the cave, which I don't ever remember going. I don't remember a lot of the Black and White 2 specific stuff, but I played... A lot more black and white one than I have black and white two. But I have played through both like, completely. I've played through every Pokemon game completely, except for uh, X and Y. Which to this day I still have not played past like the first gen. So I got I gotta do that at some point, but that's just not a that's not something I'm thinking about now. Because I like the Gen 5 game so much more. Like the reason I'm doing a, a live decks for black and white two, because they are the more fun games. I have to flash cannon this thing. Hot bolt switching out, that's just a castle. Swear to god, watch you get the boost. Okay, that yeah, curse body would be very annoying. Not like particularly good because it's not distant. Like it is just very annoying. <sighs> but yeah. Like, I, I played more Black and White 1. Whenever I pick a game to replay, it's generally that one. And to be fair, I understand why. Because this game... Like, this game might have more content and be better overall. But the actual journey in Black and White 1, I think, is better. Because it's all Gen 5-only Pokemon. 
Uh, the characters are being built from the ground up, so you get to you know, kind of experience that again. A lot of like fun and goofy areas in that one. Versus here, it's like, you know, you kind of have Pokemon from all over. You can use the same team used for the other four generations before it, uh, which is what most people do. I think they should have kept doing that. I think having Pokemon games where up until the post game, you can only get Pokemon from that generation makes a generation feel a lot more special. But I understand they can't do that because, like, I think, for example, Gen 7 had, like, 50 Pokemon introduced or something. So if they did that, uh, there wouldn't be any Pokemon in the region. There would, there would be 50 total Pokemon for all 50, like, cities. Which is just not great. Um, nice. Rogue up to 44. Stuff. Yeah, for the Elite Four, first battle, the first battle, but for the Elite Four, I do want to have, I don't know, 55 on everything, that's the goal. That should be more than enough, that should be actually almost too much. Eastside Cave. There, yeah, well, I guess we get to fight an extra drill. <laughs> Not actually going to fight this thing, because it's level 35. I guess, were, were we supposed to be able to come through here earlier? I feel like that's just not the case. But 10 levels less on wild Pokemon is genuinely... Greetings. Winston checking in. Yeah, I just want to make some progress here. I think this part... Maybe the, the reason I'm not remembering this part is I think it was actually pretty boring. If I'm remembering correctly. Uh, up until the actual... I don't know, the post-post game should be pretty fun. I'm actually pretty excited to the Pokemon World Tournament again. I haven't done that in actual years at this point. And it's a pretty cool feature. I don't know why I haven't done it much. It's basically like the best of the best AI battles. Except you can only bring in one team. Maybe I should have bought some repels. That actually probably would have been the best bet here, but whatever. I can just run from stuff. I'm incredibly up level. I mean, for that extra drill, I was almost 20 levels higher than him. Which is weird, because the trainers still have the same level Pokemon. I mean, 46 is about what we were fighting earlier. Uh, the difference is the wild Pokemon, for some reason, are all level, like, 30. Which is just, I don't know. I guess the, the levels are set for the whole area, and maybe I could have, you know, kind of like how just now I went to that other cave and I could only really go in the entrance and the rest of it was all blocked off. Maybe this cave is the same and I could have gotten into the entrance here. Uh, so the wild Pokemon themselves will be lower level. I don't really know. But yeah. Yeah. Let me go down. Give me a berry. Give me a berry that messed up the thing. Your Pokemon are really going to funk on me. Yeah. Better blue shard, those are... Okay, luckily we already have this. I don't have to fight here. Wait, why was the Exedril... Normally in the, like, dirt patches, or like, the shaking grass type of stuff, like, the Pokemon are higher leveled. Why was that Golduck 36? Maybe we just rolled low with the Exedril. Yeah. Do. Um, let's battle. Yeah, let's do it. I'm actually curious. Uh, let's see, Phoebus. I'm actually curious where you, how you get Phoebus in this game. Because in most other games, it's like two tiles of water that are randomized every day. Apparently, I can just get you on Route 1. Not even by fishing, just on Route 1. Black and white 1, you have to fish for it. Black and white 2, you just. You just get on Route 1. That's just a 5% chance. Yeah. That seems a lot more reasonable. Just a rare encounter and an A title. Yeah, these mods are just really annoying for Dave. Because I can only hit him with Flash Cannon. It's just, this is just annoying. I mean, they die to it, but I, I only have 10 Flash Cannons. I, I don't understand. Prism, prism berry. 
What does this guy do? Lock in the cave. Range for a strong train like you. If you want to pass, you must. Can't beat your hard will. Anyway, let me pull out Jake to the front because this guy just mentioned that he has double rug and rulers. Hey, goofy. They have a roadblock guy that actually, like, is is willing to fight you. Black belt Rocky. That's funny. That's uh, it's a reference like the Rocky Balboa, I think, is the, the guy's name. Fighter. From the movies, there's like a movie called like Rocky. I think there's been like six of them. Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Are they all sturdy? <laughs> this is gonna be so annoying. Every single one of his rug and rollers that are not gonna hit us for any damage are just gonna take an extra hit. Just because they can't. They give us no experience either. This guy, this guy is just a nuisance and I kinda fuck with it. Maybe I should Shadow Ball first? It doesn't really matter what the order is. Well, this guy's just- this guy's actually just a nuisance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the big- for the Elite Four, the big scary mon at the end- well, there's, the whole team is actually kind of scary, but the big scary mon is yet another Haxor. Because Haxor is just a good mon, if they recognize that. But there's also there's Agron, Lapras, Archeops, Dragon, and Hydrigan. Like a, it's a pretty stacked team. In normal mode, they don't hold anything special, but in challenge mode, they have a bunch of random stuff. Honestly, but Hydrigan is wise glass. Even know what those do. Archeops with the flying jump makes some level of sense because it's acrobatics. And then. Dragon and Dragon and uh, Haxorus already have a life order. Uh, focus Sash. Uh, Dredigan has a life for it because it has mold, not mold, it has sheer force, which means the life orb doesn't actually affect it. Just annoying that Jake does here. I'll probably revive him just in case. Then, like, we have like a muscle band on Agron, which I don't even think that's an item that benefits you. I'm pretty sure that's an item for training. Wide lens on Lapras helps in double battles. I don't know where they got these items from. They just kind of guessed. But whatever. It is interesting. Challenge mode is just straight up higher levels. But like, that's... I don't know. I mean, it's higher levels and every item, every Pokemon has a... I guess this guy just opened up the cave. I think. Nice. Della Bay. Very nice. Okay. I don't have to deal with that cave. Right, most, most likely we'll have to go back into that cave. Check out what's on the right side. But for now, I'm gonna hope it's just somewhere on this route. Kind of clear out the trainers while I'm at it. Because I've needed to clear out these trainers for a while now, honestly. Kind of long overdue. Lumalolo. Lumamola. That's, that's just a weird name. I feel like a Lumalolo would make more sense. I don't know why it would. It just seems like that. I'm sure one of you guys would know. But yeah, you can see these guys level 39 trainers, so I definitely do not want to him. I Meaning I made a wrong turn, but I need to clear him out at some point anyway. So, you know, now is as good a time as any. Oh, I see where we are, actually. The, the beach to the left, I think, is already in Delatel. Which is actually nice. That means we can go to the Pokemon Center real quick, and we can go back into the cave. But, like, yeah. I guess the roots in here, actually. Just in that game. If the move dive, you can dive and sink. There is, I do remember, there's, like, a cool dive temple over on the right. I guess, like, the only use of the move. Still pretty cool. Whenever I'm in the post game, though, the first things I'm gonna get are HM slippers, which I think is Tropius and uh, I think the Barrel, the best one for all the wall based moves. I believe Tropius and the Barrel can single handedly have every HM on them. 
And we'll have four main Pokemon, like a False Swipe user and a Reed. Kinda get us through everything else. Level 28 for Lish. Yeah, we're definitely back at Grand Andela Bay. Or right, Andela Town, sorry. I think right here, if we go down, brings us straight to the stadium. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy how small yet large the region is. Let me get off the bike. It's way too hard to do precise movements on the bike. It's actually one of the hardest parts in like Pokemon Emerald is, is straight up traversing the tower where you get a Rayquaza, because basically the floor falls out under you as you ride around your bike. And requires like incredibly precise movements. You just don't get most. Maybe I don't. Bad. It'd be a skill issue, too. Yeah, I think we should go back up top. Because we clearly missed something on Route 20. We've been talking about it. Something's definitely missed. Probably in the cave. Ah. Uh, yeah. Now oh, we've been all the way up. Let's go down. Let's go down the right side this time, because last time we made a left randomly. I think there was a trainer on the right we missed. I'm gonna stay right. Okay, so this would have brought us it would have brought us the same way, but going left actually saved us time. Uh, by avoiding a lot of the new things. You can see on one side of the cave the frillish level 28, and the other side they're level 43, which is actually higher than most mons in my party at the moment. Including actually my Jellicent, which is currently level 40, which is kind of funny. Yeah, let's go fight the last guy that we didn't fight on this route, because I saw there was like a martial artist that was just kind of out of the way. I'm gonna make my way over to him, and uh, should be able to fight him. Interesting though, because I... This, the surf name, sorry, the biking theme is just kind of obnoxious. Uh, and, and de like debatably always worse than uh, debatably always worse than like the things that were. That's where we came down. Where was the martial artist? Am I tripping? Do I just remember seeing someone that wasn't there? Oh yeah, see that goes out to the right. So. Comes down from the top as. I guess we went the wrong way. I mean, we're supposed to go the right way. The right way. Wait, no, what? They said go to Route 21, Billy. Really. Here. How do we even get to the right side of the cave? Am I missing something really basic? There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Which just kind of annoys me. It's gonna be like. But am I actually missing something there? Like, I, I feel kind of dumb. Because they did say Route 21. I, I very clearly remember Hugh saying, Oh, they're going to be by Route 21. And there's clearly a guy down there. So there's got to be a way to get over there. Like, going over this way? Actually, look this. He said... That cave, black. Yeah. I can actually look at a map of this thing and uh, kind of see what I'm looking for. Um. Yeah. Okay, so apparently I, I just missed There's supposedly a ledge that I could have jumped down. Did I just see a ledge and assume it was going the other way than it actually was going? Maybe that's what I happened. That'd be kind of annoying, actually. Let's see if I am really that steep. Oh, this does go one way ledge. Oh, wait, do I have to? I think I have to go here and then right. Really, normally is that, huh? 
Now we can actually make progress. Hooray. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore it. Even if there's no encounters here, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. Fight all the trainers we can as we go through this cave. Path of Karate is the path of humanity in the path of Pokemon. Pretty meaningful sentence. Like Bro Drago. Scrafty. Luckily for us, Dave is one of our best answers for Scrafty, which is kind of a sad statement, because he really is not a great answer. Okay. Honestly, I'm tempted in the Elite Four for the Dark Guy. Because the, the Dark is one of our weakest matchups. But for the Dark Gym Leader, I might, uh, not Dark Elite. Tempted to use an X Speed for the free. But like I was saying, the Surf theme kind of goes hard. It's just actually great. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but every time Pokemon makes, like, a water theme... Or actually, it's, I guess it's just gaming in general. Water-based themes tend to be better than the main themes. Like, one of my favorite Pokemon themes of all time is the Dive theme from Generation 3 Pokemon. And I don't really think it's all that. Like, it's just, it's just really good. Like, I don't know. And then the Surf theme here is, like, both exciting and relaxing at the same time, which is just kind of insane that that can be combined. Um, what do we want to do here? Look. Ah, that's why we have the chorus machine. Let's go check out the bit. Wait, I think this is where we- Yo, yeah, that's toxic. Like that, that item on the right, that's the toxic, uh, I actually want. But we need to go solve this puzzle. How do I do that? I have to go around? I think I have to make my way all the way around specifically to solve this puzzle. Which I will do. Toxic is worth it. Toxic is, is actually going to make our Ferris Horn like eight times more viable. Because anything that gets walled by it, we literally can just Toxic. We don't even need to protect the Toxic though, because we just have like, stats that are that good. Good. We do still have a Strength user, right? Cause I remember Growlithe used to. Oh my god, we have to teach strength to someone. We used to have that on Growlithe, but I, we don't have Growlithe in the party anymore, so someone else actually used to learn it. Luckily, strength is actually decent. Fortunately, this is this is the set of Pokemon that can learn it, which is really bad for it. Um, I guess Ferrothorn won't need uh, Iron Head much longer. Or Ingrain. It doesn't need Ingrain at all. That was just like a temporary thing. We still have Pokebrush, which is... Is that definitely should be good? Here we go. We've now wasted a move slot on her. Fair Thorn. Ah, damn. Of course it's an encounter. I was hoping it'd be like a gem. Fuck off, extra drill. Don't need you here. And if you are level 40, pretty high up there. I wonder how much easier this game would have been if I just used, like, exclusively extra drill and tried to swing. Max repelling. Alright. Alright. Let's run away from him. Go on. Oh, the dazzling. I don't remember why I closed the dazzling. I think we needed to to teach strength, I guess. But yeah, I'm glad I went down here, because Toxic is, is a very necessary TM. Or at least Ferrothorn. Could actually be really useful for the rest of our team. Well, Ferrothorn particularly benefits a lot. Unfish Charge. Quick guard it only protects you in double battles. That does literally nothing. Great. And that was her only mon. Trained so much to get a level 47. I guess if you trained to like the start of the game exclusively, maybe it's not as nice. Oh.
Like all this, this quote unquote puzzle is pretty straightforward. And this isn't toxic? I guess toxic a little bit further. Because I remember seeing this puzzle, because I, I watched like a video where to get toxic. And I remember seeing this video. Where to get toxic back in two. Because I know he went down this way, but he went past this. Maybe it's just up the stairs. This is just charging. Oh, it is just up the stairs. And it's like the only thing that. The entire reason for this whole underground section existing is just to lead to Toxic. Which, to be fair, that makes sense, because Toxic is like one of the most used and best TMs in the game. You can see here, right? This is if we saw earlier, and this is toxic. And below us is the entrance that we came in from. So like this, this was genuinely the whole cave. This whole cave pretty much exists just for toxic. It's just kind of proving how necessary. Toxic. Ooh. Question is, I, I guess I get rid of Iron Man, I think. Toxic is way too useful for him to have. Uh, the question is if we want Mario to also learn Toxic. And... I guess no one else can learn like, Gold either. It's unfortunate that, that HMs take up a slot of your main party, but to be fair, six Pokemon is also... It's kind of understandable. Anyway, there's very clearly a hidden item past this crossover. Heal is a new encounter, but I'm just gonna ignore it. We'll be back here someday. Anyway. Let's go wake up Crustle. Or Risk Machine. That's like probably the entire reason we were given Machine. We have to fight him as well. I wonder if the Chorus machine is anything special, like it has a hit or something. Chorus machine cross super. Either way, I can just. Yeah, the Chorus machine forcibly wakes sleeping pudding. The player uses this device to awaken only the sleeping crustles. That's it. And then it's, it's actually it. Oh. That is, that is literally the only use for the, the whole reason we got this key item, being the Chorus Machine, was just for this one crustle, and nothing else. 30. Nice. Let me double check that that's not a hidden ability. I don't think it is. If it is a hidden ability, I mean, we might as well catch this. Let's see, Crustle, Gen 5. Yep, Sturdy is just normal. It's a normal S ability. Hidden ability is actually weak arm. On Crustle, it actually makes some level of sense. It's actually pretty interesting. Also, it's also one of the many mons that get shell armor. Chorus machine broke. It literally exists just for that. And then it breaks, never to be used again. That is wild. In plasma shell. What happens from here is kind of the question. How do we get in? Oh, what? This should do it. But you weren't gonna fight teeth. No. Okay. Okay, questioning your beliefs is always a good idea. As spitting facts. Interesting that he bothered helping you out, though. 
Let's check around here just. Who knows? Probably not. Could be. Kind of hope. Yeah, I don't think there's a hidden item, at least down here. Maybe there's one up top. I feel like they it'd be really convenient to have a hidden item around this ship. That there's that just seems like a good place to hide an item. If I were to hide an item. But I'm gonna check. Maybe not, maybe this is just like a little bay on the side, but no, doesn't hurt. Guess not. But it, it could also what could happen is a hidden item might show up once the ship leaves. Once we deal with this thing, maybe that's what's going on. Either way, let's go. Let's actually go board the ship and in progress. Alright. Yeah. Really good. Ooh. Friends of Smiley Swimsuit. Good name for him. Smiley Swimsuit. I think he's wearing a swimsuit. I know he was snorkeling around, and they made like a whole custom animation of him snorkeling away after losing to Yuna Jim Foot. But, uh, he really could be doing anything. Yeah, we're, we're still incredibly overleveled. 55 versus 46 is straight up like almost exactly 10 levels. It's 9 levels. Uh, which is just kind of wild. But it makes this incredibly easy. This charge might not kill garbage. It's kind of tanky. There you go. Nope. Not tanky enough for Dave. It is a beat. Sherman's up to 46. I think it started at 40 before I gave it the reinsurance. That is some good progress right there. No, the hatch is still up. Let me check out the ship. We're the city. Insulin came from this direction. Go in this direction. You revive, I'll always take that. I'm gonna go check out the rest of the deck, because he, he's very clearly standing where the... I'm gonna go to the part where the story doesn't progress. Yeah, they're all just idle. Walking around. Retaliate, that's, that's a TM. That's not a particularly great one. It is a TM nonetheless. Glad I went up there to find it, because it would have been annoying to have... I'm here in the post game. To go. Place. Okay, we go in. Alright. Yeah. You. Gotta feel my rage. Oh my god, shut up. That is incredibly cringe, is it? <laughs> to be fair, it's a, it's a video game from what, like, 2012? It was exactly, that was when those, those phrases were being popularized very unironically. Uh, I know Discharge will kill Samurai, but I don't care. Kinda deserves it if he does too. Yeah. That should definitely kill Golbat. I guess it also kills Samurott and probably also Survivor. We just. Dave is just a nuclear bomb in this doubles battle. Kills everything. <laughs> that was really funny. We just killed their teammates, Pokemon, and everyone else. Not with fucking. You know what that move is, and I definitely don't want it. The Drapion is going to be immune, immune to discharge, unfortunately. Sigma Sage is going to be weak to Drapion. Maybe that wasn't our, our finest play. But you know what? I'm going to do it again, because that is incredibly funny. Even though Drapion resists, it's going to be funny to kill Sigma Sage. And honestly, kind of based on it. It's a fucking Sigma Sage, who cares? Because this should also kill Garbodor, as we found out a little bit earlier. Wait, is Drapion? I guess Drapion's dark poison. I thought it was I thought it was pure uh, I thought it was poison ground for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. I guess it's not immune. Okay. We'll switch to finish the um. Oh wow you miss hyper push. Anyway, there we go. Got ourselves the finish on Garbodor. Stuff for Dave. It also seems like the guy who has the experience is getting way more experience. I 
guess it's because it's higher level. Berlin with barriers. The way street and password here. Means we have to find the password to get out Team Plasma. Let's put up and find that password. I guess I can't just guess it. <laughs> I don't remember this being a big part of the story, but this could be a whole ass like dungeon with teleport pads. I gotta say. If he's asleep, but we're just not gonna question that. Wait, I need to be suspicious. Alright, an X team person. But I am now as a spy to claim something anything bad they might get. The hard job keeping on in front. The only thing about Pro on Pokemon. Are these guys all spies? No, just that guy. Okay. <laughs> the guy up there, right next to these guys, within earshot, just said, Yeah, I am a spy! By the way. Spy for this organization, not a real part. <laughs> He's just like, Hmm, where could the intruders be? Let's use flash cans and use up all of our discharge sheet here. Hopefully there's someone that can heal us nearby so that we can get our feet back, because it's very annoying. Yeah. And hopefully the last guy is, the last monomous guy is uh, not a ground type. So. Which one? 47? Hold that, that's perfect. Big games. You can see there, Dave got 800 experience, Shrubin got 1000, but if I beat that same goal bet in the wild, it would be 200. Maybe 300. Oh, whatever. The Plasma Card Enter Password. Wow, very cool. Thank you for sharing that information. Alright, do we just have to guess which of the six rooms has the card? This we probably will. Nice! He only has one Pokemon, so use Volt Switch on it. Hopefully kill him. I think Scrafty has super high defenses. Should be able to just kill him. Let's see. Damn! Good. Well, surely it wasn't about to use a dark move on the steel type, but probably using a fighting move. Quad resist here. No, no, it just it just knew. It just knew. They're simply better. Obviously, it was so obvious that there's gonna volt switch there. And I just read it like a book. I'm sure one of these rooms has a guy that'll heal. Like, I need to find him fat. Not gonna be any of these guys, I don't think. Look, there's a certain a certain placement for dealer type guys. Nope, not the double battle guy. This seems like a healer type of person. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem they're a healer type of person. <laughs> or maybe maybe if I talk to the spy, he'll that Pokemon. That would actually make the most sense. He bold switch on this thing. Surely it also isn't going to use a dark type move. Because it makes literally no sense to him. Or it just dies. I guess Scrafty has more defense than I thought? Like, I don't know why Scrafty would tank a hit when your Pokemon is a dragon sign. Oh, very good. Thank you for the question. Well, here's the single guy on the other side. I guess I should set up my uh, second one and not be the double battle. Probably so put out map. He'll resist discharge. And also... Uh, actually, that's a... I was gonna say something stupid. I was gonna say, and also... Uh, then Dave can resist his bulldoze. And that's just... That's just cap. 
they cannot resist earthquake. They will die to an earthquake. It could be 20 levels under level, and it would still die to earth. Like, we'll one-shot things with Bolt Switch of all things, which is just kind of down here. First layer of the password is Z. Get max out for it. Burden. Shroban's up to 47. I should be training the rest of my. Double battle time. Oh, what? Any band in the room is available if you're still using it for fire. Ah! Ahaha! Ah, we found the room! It was it was probably any room. Yeah. Well, let's go in this room. I just so awkwardly ignoring. Ah! Is the password gonna be. It wouldn't be Zygarde, the generation before Zygarde. I actually do wonder what. I don't remember the password. Especially the Z. Maybe like Zinc or something? Or maybe it's just like a non word. A lot more now people aren't supposed to be able to guess it. <laughs> anyway. We're just gonna keep going strong. This is now that we have a place to heal, we can just spam discharge on everything. Cool. I mean, Dave's already leveled enough for the Elite Four at this point, and we haven't even been through Victory Road or anything, so that is just nuts. Wait, Cosmic Power? It learns- oh, it doesn't learn Stored Power, that's the thing. Yeah, fuck Shadow Ball, bro. Honestly, we don't need that kind of coverage. Surely Cosmic Power will be enough. That's- oh, it's Zygarde, okay. Not that- not Zygarde, uh, Fucking... <laughs> it's it's the legendary the ice type Pokemon. No, that's Kiram. Wait. Legendary Pokemon for the Unova reason, starting with a Z? Will that be? Uh, oh, Zekrom. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's just Zekrom. I don't know how I didn't get that earlier. That should have been really obvious to me. Unfortunately, you can't put it in, because it would have been cool if you could input the password, like, with text yourself. Put all the hints together. But I guess most people mash A when playing these games, and even Nintendo understands that 90% of the text goes unread, and only a small 10% gets read. Uh, but like... I feel so smart right now, even though it's such an obvious answer. It's just Zekrom. Yeah, Black Dragon Pokemon starting with Z that's a legendary Pokemon the Unova region. It's just Sekrom. Fortunately, I probably have to battle all these guys. Readers in the vessel, everyone please respond. Electricizer. Oh, that's for evolving, uh, not Magby, but... Hmm. Can I battle the Chef? I'm gonna battle the Chef. We probably won't be able to, but it'd be cool if we could. I think so. It'll actually be interesting though once I uh, start making competitive sets for Mortal Mons on my teams. Yeah, now that we have experience here, we can just hyper over level Dave and have him carry the rest of the Pokemon to being a decent. I mean, 57 is absurd at this point. Because <laughs> the, the, you know, the final boss of the whole region, the Elite Four, is 58. look the other way for a child like you. Oh wow, yeah, what a strong guy. It reminds me of like the guys in Team Skull. <laughs> it's like Team Skull is like the bad team for uh, Gen 7, and their whole thing was just that they were dicking around. They weren't even doing anything really evil for the most part, except like the higher ups in the lab or whatever. But all the, the basic grunts walking around, dude, they were just like, yeah, I'll kill your Pokemon for 50 Poke Dollars. It, it was a really cool... Uh, idea for a team, I think. Pretty for Team Plasma's pretty solid too. Having having like a cult, really follow a cult leader. That was a first, I believe. Uh, Cyrus was more of a like you know Team Rocket's like a straight up organization where everyone's getting their salaried wages from Giovanni. 
Uh, Gen 2 was more of Team Rocket, and it was just them coming back together. Gen 3 was like the, uh, you know, land versus water, which isn't really much of a, I mean, it's kind of a cult if you think about it, but not really. Uh, Gen 4 was more, yeah, kind of more structured yet again, you know, it was, it was Team Galactic with Galactic HQ. They had like buildings all around the region because they were like a whole on company. Okay, but we got what we need, but we can get, uh, we got Zekrom now. Pressure Ram is just not the yeah, Zekrom. The one that's the one we're talking. Alright, well, let's battle the last set of trainers. Oh, I guess we battled everyone. That's why that was. That's why they just gave. Um, what was I saying though? I know I just said something like meaningful. But I I completely forgot. Very unfortunate. I'm trying to jog my memory. I don't think it's gonna come back. <laughs> That sucks. Anyway. Duke still isn't here. I guess he waits until he put it in. Oh wait, we do put it in the pass right. That's sick. Heck wrong. Boom. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I remember what I was talking about, but most likely not. Sorry if I was in the middle of saying something. It is now out of my head. Literally, this is Kirim. Yep, that's Kirim. Alright. Base missile will be fired on the place that you're sure Kirim is powered on T-Plus technology. You can become the 13-Plus. Let me you here. I don't know how you'll do that. Like, the fourth time. This is actually like the fourth time you've, you've battled me, and not a single time has it even been close. You know, the seven sages in Black and White 1 actually throw some real threat. Some level of challenge. Your ass just has Cryagonal 50 times over. You know, this time I'll, I'll be a bit nice. I won't <laughs> kill Samurai for fun. <laughs> Let's just kill Cryagonal here. Ooh, Ice Beam into the Water type. Ah, very. That means next turn they attack Dave with both Pokemon, which is just gonna be annoying. Cryagonal should actually die in one shot because we're incredibly. Dave's doing it? Is Cryagonal just like specially bulky? That might be the thing. It might have a high special attack and special defense and speed and everything else. So I guess I should have attacked with the physical attack. Uh, Discharge kills. Oh wait, he's got six they got six Pokemon over there. So I uh flash can't dragon. If they only had two Pokemon apiece like every other trainer, I would have just discharged for the fun of it. Can't do that here. Driven 49, almost up to 50. I think once he's to 50, I'll swap the experience share into someone else. And I could even have it so Dave, you know, uh, isn't my lead and I actually use another Pokemon. That might make some little sense. Yeah, I think Ferrothorn should be the last thing I leveled up, because it's powerful enough that I don't need to have it fully leveled to get the full failure. It just has absurdly high defensive. That'll work regardless of the level. Double feed should be this guy's final one on the right, and that all just a need to charge. I mean, Samurott's kind of low anyway, so I can just finish him off. You know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really hurt. I guess he'll, he'll actually just get killed outright. Oh well, he was gonna live on 10 health, but now I just killed him, so I feel kind of bad because that would have powered up all his men. But whatever, this should kill the other two anyway. Oh really? It kills neither? That's crazy. Now discharge will definitely kill us. I'm actually kind of shocked that that didn't. Kill either of them. I figured at least for Agnol would die. I guess its special defenses are just higher. It's nice that they're only attacking the enemy Pokemon. It would have been really annoying if they were attacking me. Not the enemy Pokemon, but Peak's Pokemon, which yeah, might as well be the end. Of course, I paralyzed my teammate. That's just Pete. Divine. Sure. 
Meanwhile, I know for a fact is that they have absurdly high special defenses. I wonder if Weedwell attacks Semisage because it was low. But yeah, use a priority move. Definitely gonna go for the finisher. Wow. I just abused the fuck out of the egg <laughs> by mistake, just because I was doing something a little goofy. Because it knows the low health Pokemon, if you didn't know it, the AI will always target the low health Pokemon. That's exactly what happened here. Ice Sharp might hit me now. No, it, no, it, just, it just noticed it was killable and went for it again. That's really funny. But now it makes this charge single target. So it's gonna, this thing was on full health, it would have actually killed it. If you didn't know in double battles, moves that hit multiple Pokemon uh, are made slightly weaker when hitting multiple. Or at least when attempting to. Yeah, they're just talking about like who cares, it's just a purloin. Common mentality. Oh shit. <laughs> the shadow tree had straight up jumped us, okay. That's crazy. But are we gonna start flying with them? Interesting. It's interesting if they have a whole ass flying ship in this game. Are we still on this? I don't actually know. Sorry to ruin the cutscene. I don't actually know if we're still. We just got kicked out and then it shot away. Okay, we did get kicked. Went for the giant chasm. Okay, so I'm allowed to go there and get Ice Beam now. Large W. Okay, so it's hinting at the fact that I think we get Rush Rumors. Just double check this. Cool. Alright, well, we're gonna fly back up to, uh, first of all, let's take the share of We'll have him lead the party for now and hope that he's strong enough. Then we'll give Jake the experience share, because I want that Jealous into fighting chance. He hasn't gotten a lot of time in the sun, like, such a late addition to it. But I think it's a, he's a cool mom. I want to give him this chance. Alright. Shrobin out here. I guess if we really want it, it'd be really easy to like hyper level in this game. Considering how much we're over leveled just by doing it for like a small amount of time for like one gym. Yeah. Yeah. I will actually probably try to get an I just realized we're an hour into the recording, but I will probably try to actually get an encounter in the grass uh, up ahead. I'll also talk to this lady, Dr. Oh, that's a good reference. The dress is easy and comfy to wear. The reference to, uh... Oh, heart skill. Uh, but that's that's a reference to the shorts guy from every other Pokemon. You know, there's a guy that talks about how comfy and shorts are to wear. Every single... Uh, and, and yeah. It's just a one-to-one -one reference to it. Already gone to Moongo. I don't need another one. In fact, I think what we call was a higher level we could keep it on looking thing. And those ones tend to be higher. It's like the shaking grass variant. I already talked to you. But I haven't done this path. We are hidden item. Which is a green shard, it's not crazy. Anyway, let's battle, let's first of all, let's strength the battle this guy. We could also use Surf to get that item we saw, like, ages ago. It was actually a whole episode. Let's get these guys out of the way. Just gotta do what we can. True. 
That is, that is how you get through life. You just gotta do what you can. You know, it doesn't work out. You can okay. name her up to you. Incredibly underleveled. Here's an extra Ruben. It's already on 50. I think we just air slash. His chance of flinch is nice. Even if we don't flinch, it's it's still fine. It lowered its own speed, it doesn't get special defense. Back in. Don't help it here. Psychic shit. Uh, and it's 100% accurate, unlike Hank the 95 of the uh, air slash, so take that any day. Rumping. I guess, kinda wish we had Shadow Ball still, so we could one shot him, but Flash will still do half, just like before. If not a little bit more. Oh, it won't. Okay. Flash will not do that. Just do some. The nice part is Shadow Ball is a TM, so we can we can still reteach a destroy it anytime. Uh, yeah, we just air slash the thing again, and then we go for fly maybe, or we do air slash to that might be the best option. This fly will take two turns, and the AI might be smart enough to just go use rest again to be as annoying as possible. When it's got a rest set, rest snore. To be fair, snore is a kind of shit attack. There's into sleep talk, which picks a random move and tries to use it. The only problem with sleep talk is it has a 1 in 3 chance of picking rest while you're asleep. Uh, which, and also it doesn't work when you wake up, so you have to properly guess if you're gonna wake up, because it's pure RNG, whether you wake up on turn 2 or 3. Or turn 1, you can, I think you can turn 1, maybe I'm wrong, because I know Sleep is a mechanic they've changed with every generation. Uh, so it might not actually be this. Anyway. A new encounter? It actually technically is, because we only have the, uh, the zoom reel the first stage, or is it the final stage? No, no, we just have... Fuck, what is it called? I forgot this thing's first stage evolution, but we have that. Because I thought Meryl was the first stage, and then it became Azumarill, and... I don't know what the last stage is. What is it? Either way, there's a new encounter. Uh, there you go. Mel Meryl. Uh... This, this guy, honestly, he's, he seems like a, a Mark Cubane type of fellow. I don't even know how they spell that guy's name, so I would guess. <laughs> Mark. Come on. Okay, let me not use the touch screen, I guess. Mark Cuban. Or Mark Cuban, I guess. I don't have enough space. I think there's an I in the actual. Mark Cuban. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice rest of your day.